Johnny Somali, Jack Dory, and Neon, uh, they like, that shit like cancerous, bro. Like, that shit. Okay. YouTube, welcome back to a new video, man. Today, we back with another Toes reaction. We got, um, damn, this nigga throwing me off. Looking like, oh my Just God. A few we gonna get right into it because she pissed me Three off. Days after like the most that, hated bro. IRL streamer taunted the Korean public to come and get him. Tomorrow I'm outside for Halloween. Come catch me. I'm outside tomorrow. Come find. Me. He allegedly ended up begging police to protect him. It's before we get into it. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Safe to say things are not going in the favor of the most hated IRL streamer in the world right now, as he's currently stuck in Korea, and it seems like he's going to be there for a while as more charges have been filed against him and they postponed his travel ban until the case he was indicted in is resolved and as we said previously a national korean news station just revealed that he allegedly begged the police for protection after taunting the korean public to come and find him and thankfully the news station korea now is in english so we can actually understand this american youtuber johnny somali who has engaged in outrageous acts in south korea such as kissing the statue of peace and causing disturbances at a convenience store yeah, has been Ass ass up, man. That's still office. such a ridiculous clip. Day, yeah, like that, that clip pissed me off so much. Like it's still do. I don't know what the fuck. The live streamer, they got a nice big ass, ass police face. But has not been detained for further investigation. Somali okay, so he's still free as of right now. ...the operations of a convenience store by playing loud music and pouring instant noodles on a table after being stopped from drinking alcohol by an employee. He even uploaded his action on his YouTube channel, which got the local police involved and... So he got a YouTube channel? I thought they would have him by now. Him. Everything he does is a self-report. Right, he ain't telling to on himself. Assaults ...and even illegal gifts. Oh, uh, yeah, that's... That's disrespectful and offensive behavior, Minwoo, has drawn significant public criticism in Korea. In fact, last month, he was attacked multiple times on the streets of Seoul Let's by go. Korean live streamers. Somali. This was after he taunted them. Protection after claiming someone was stalking him in the city. That's why right. they should have. They should have like banned that shit, bro. Somebody should have banned beat him, bro. Like, I, I was thinking there was some whole ass niggas over there. They just letting them play. I was going. Man, that look. an unidentified man presumed to be a YouTuber was following him and that his address in Kudi City was revealed by Korean YouTubers through their live streams. Earlier on the 6th, Somali publicly apologized to Koreans through a YouTube video, but this action has been coldly received by the general public who doubts his sincerity. Yeah. And I mean, there's plenty of reasons to doubt the apology, but yeah, first, definitely. going back to him begging the police to protect him, apparently... He recorded this video and this was posted somewhere, probably on his Discord, of him in the back seat being protected. Stop shrinking in a cop car, man. Mm. Well, that's not on camera. <laughs> or I'm gonna drop everything, man. We're not drinking, we're not drinking, we're not drinking. Hey, please, bro. Not on camera. You follow my orders. Oh. We're not helping you, okay? Yes, sir, yes, sir, okay, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> them boys own it. Stop it's playing with them. Like, Fuck. Japan. Why they American beat that ass? We got so much more freaking. Protecting us to be in the back of the police car. Come to get us. Yo, they gonna look at these two rooms and they're gonna be like, oh, hell no. I said something! Right. I mean, even <laughs> while being protected by the police, you can't be Bro, hell oh, well, no, I mean, this guy is you, gonna bro. have such a rude awakening when his case off. actually goes to trial. Because according to the YouTube Attorney Legal Mindset, if he was just gonna get a simple slap on the wrist, that would have happened by now. Instead, they're going to trial. As you can see by this chart the legal mindset made, it's either one or the other, apparently, over there. And in Korea, that normally means a more severe punishment and typically jail time. So it's just laughably stupid that someone will willingly put them... Yeah, you better try to escape, because they ain't not finna play with this ass, bro. Like like they said, like, if they were gonna give him a slap on the wrist, that shit would've happened already. Like, it, it probably, you know... And the fact that he going to trial and gotta plead this case... It make it ten times worse because he, like he said, he reported everything by himself. Like everything is on camera, you know. That he recorded himself, you know. That's why I never understood. Like not even nothing to do with this. Like niggas would be like, like in America, like street niggas, you know. They'll be outside with their mask on, but they on live though. Like you got the mask on for the cameras, but you got one of the best cameras looking dead in your face and you broadcasting. It. So it defeat the whole purpose. Like, I don't be understanding that shit. ...themselves in this bad of a situation for some simple attention on the internet. But while he's also just screaming, come and get me, 
He's filing restraining orders on other people who met him while streaming. Thankfully, this one has English subtitles. That's a big boy, I ain't gonna lie. motherfucking finger sticks. So he can't be within 100 meters of Johnny, and Johnny filed this restraining order. Right, yeah. Like, I don't know, like, I don't really understand Korea laws, you know, but it's not for me to understand if I don't live there, you know, but that shit crazy, though, like, how they even approve that? And he the one who rides. Johnny people. is such a coward. Like, he clearly left around a little bit too much and found out, physically and legally. And obviously, people aren't buying his apology as it just sounds extremely insincere. But that didn't stop the Korean media from reporting on it. Because here you have a full on article by Korea Jungong Daily. Johnny Somali apologizes to Koreans, cites ignorance different comedy cultures. Yeah, right, dude. So, like, the whole basis of his apology we, was oh, that, I, he. I think he think they stupid or something. Like, a lot of people that's not from America, like, watch and pay attention to America. Like, to America, you know? Like, they, they, that's not no, um, what the fuck? What did he say? Comedy differences or cultural differences? Like, that's not none of that. That's just you being a dumbass. Like, even in America, that'll be you just being a dumbass. Like, there's people in America that do less than him. I wouldn't say less, cause like Jack Dory and like, um, like Neon AIs, they they be doing like about the same shit, you know. But it's looked at the same way over here that it, that they looking at him over there. So that was just a dumbass I excuse. I think he just I think they know stupid. What that statue was essentially it's just a rinse and repeat of what happened in Japan. He apologized profusely multiple times until he was out of the country safe. And then he just deleted all of his apologies and took it back like nothing happened. And now you have more clips coming from his last streams that just nuke what's left of the credibility of that apology. Because here is a clip of him literally reading exactly what this statue is and what it stands for. Right, I watched that clip. Korean comfort women. The thousands of women who were forced into... Yeah. <laughs> By the then he laughed army. after... Put him in jail for like ever. Like, I would have put me during World War II. <laughs> I'd have put him in jail hard labor. So cool He's the left that bitch have did. Let's not mince our words. These women were kidnapped. They were victims. And he blurred it out for a reason because <laughs> he's one of the he's largest state sponsored shit. systems of exploitation of modern history. So now his apology has zero weight but speaking of old stream clips another old stream clip confirms that the police is actually investigating the statue incident all the police have to investigate you because we've been sitting here one hour can i speak go ahead talk we we saw that you are video i don't do no crime no crime you've been with the itaewon right no crime i don't do no crime and then you touch the i don't do no crime the statue, right? no talk is it okay you go with us? No. For the no. Case? no. No. And then you can be the, under arrest because you touched the girls. Yeah, I'm from the say like, they asking him, is it like okay? They better snatch his ass up, you feel me? But they saying he gonna be under arrest, you From know, so same shit. Statute and then doing some, on your opinion. I don't want to go with you. I will not go with you. No. And then you don't want to go another day. Not so investigating. I need to talk to my Korean friend and lawyer. I have Korean friend and lawyer. I will not go with you. I, I, I get some from the lawyer. I'm not going. I'm not going with you. No. And that, that's the thing. Like, they don't get no. Well, I don't know how Korea is, is ran. You know, and he probably know a little more than me. You know, but and nigga, all that action for the lawyer shit, bro. They they don't care about that, bro. I don't know. Is it like again? I don't know how it's ran, but. They most likely don't care about that shit, bro. No crime, no crime. No crime, nothing illegal. No crime. Translate, I did no crime. Now that he's traveled, Dan, they have plenty of time to investigate no, him no for this. Crime. Wait, wait, wait. Mini crime, what did he do? I think they, they like, took his passport or something. Then he, he in South Korea, so it really ain't nowhere he can go. If he go north, you know it's up there, you know? He can't, it's like, it's, it's a peninsula, you feel me?
and you at the tip of it, you know? You can't really go nowhere. And if you go north, you know what's going to happen. You know what's up there. Sexual thing. I'm not se no sexual, no sexual. To the wrong no. Bro, you streamed it. No. <laughs> no. Literally I'm streamed gay. it, bro. I'm like. Gay. What is with these IRL streamers and faking being gay to avoid any sort of accountability? Like literally in yesterday's video, we watched Fuzi do the exact same thing. He just faked being gay to try to avoid accountability. These guys would literally do anything just to weasel their That's way out of That's what I'm saying. Them. Like the IRL stream, and it's like it's like I don't like using this word, but it's like it's like it's cancerous, bro. Like it's it's like the cancer of like streaming because there's a lot of good streamers out there, and it's like. I don't even want to say IRL streaming because there's a lot of IRL streamers that been doing this way before it was a trend and that's still doing it and they honestly just do normal shit like they talk to the engage with their fans go out and explore the city and shit like that like these are the ones y'all obviously don't see but I done ran into a couple of them and a lot of them come from like these Asian countries and stuff like that some in um, the US too but it's just like Johnny Somali Jack Dory and Neon, they like, that shit like cancerous, bro. Like, that shit, I don't know. It just fuck up the whole IRL stream and, um, the whole, you know, the whole, the whole little bit of subject. It just fuck it up. I'm gay. So they're asking me if I want to voluntarily go to the station. I said, voluntarily go to the station. I have a choice. It's your choice. My choice. Hank, they said it was my choice to go to the station. They, no. uh, man, they had like some hoes. Talking about it's his choice, bro. But I don't snatch it. I mean, it's probably different laws and different um procedures over there, you know. But in the U.S., it's definitely been snatched up already, bro. Nope. You need to get the fuck out of Mapu District. I'm not saying police call to you. I don't care. I don't care. But from I don't the looks of it, shit, call. Call me. they I'm got more rights than America. Like the Americans, you feel me? Station. We saw the video. What I do? What do you do? You dance in the in the in the subway station, right? Hey, that, that's illegal. Yes, illegal because dancing. Yes, that dancing is your body motion like the sexual problem. Okay. That's some bullshit, bro. No, it's not true. Right. He just posted that clip on his TikTok today as well. We can go. Bye bye. W thirteen O. Oh, okay. So now his recent TikToks make a little bit more sense because he's essentially just taunting this whole case, which is just so beautiful. Right, like, stupid. Well, but it's not like we've been covering him for being a. Not, not, I think they like took his. Hold on, bro. The Traders, from the piss he's me coming off. back. Nobody care, bro. Like, it's like what I was gonna say. It was like, what? I, damn, I for see that shit just do my whole man. Do my whole thought process off, you know, but I think they take his passport. So if they took your passport, I'd be on my best behavior. Like I wouldn't even do shit to get my passport it took, honestly. But if I didn't get to that point that he is in now, I would be on my best behavior. Cause like you can't do nothing without your passport. That's like when you leave this country. That's like you supposed to keep that close. You feel me? Can't really be surprised here. But we'll get back to the subway clips in a bit because he's now facing even more charges as an IRL streamer he harassed on the street by the name of Boomy ITV pressed charges against him the other day. And of course, the evidence is there because Johnny streamed himself doing this. Johnny is his Just own worst enemy. Phones but Boomy tweeted a clip of Johnny's up. stream with the caption, he is harassing me when I do IRL. Johnny's Somali weird. And then he later on confirmed that he did press charges for this incident. She's like, these the people I'm talking about, like, he's just a regular IRL stream. The accent is just so disrespectful. Yeah, like, then he got a cameraman with him, like, this nigga's condoning this shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? Oh my, bro, I was, bro. He said he's calling the police. One, one, two. These niggas scary as hell, bro. I ain't gonna lie. These South Korean niggas scary as hell, bro. Like, I'm trying to get their ass the benefit of the doubt a little bit, but they just look like they just so scary, bro. Like, if y'all don't do something to his ass, bro, his ass following you. I, it's probably different laws and different procedures, but in America, bro, somebody with a... He, like, that's what I'm saying. He know who to play with. He know where to go, and he know who to play with. You feel me? And it's like... Regards of how the law is, is like niggas don't get no fuck, bro. Somebody would have been beat his ass, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Call police. Call 
Anybody in the U.S. Just humiliating bro. himself here. In the state. Congratulations, Ben D or something. <laughs> Yeah, we fuck around. I got shot. Fuck around. No bad. Yeah, this is a disgrace, bro. This is like a perfect level to like punch this motherfucking head up. Kick his ass like right here. Knock his motherfucking jaw off the off the socket, you feel me? Knock the whole wig off. And out, I run the city. Ain't no kick sweepers on my block, you ass. Run! Right. All of this is just so Shit, tiring. Corny, like, we bro. all want to live in a society where there's a zero percent chance of being harassed in public by an IRL streamer trying to use you for content. So, I mean, this just should not be acceptable, and hopefully he will be punished for this. But if this guy actually ends up getting years in prison for just being an all-around fool, he played himself. Like, right. bravo, just keep cooking yourself, dude. <laughs> and also, I mean, he just did this exact same thing in Japan, but I guess he I got away with it in Japan, in so he's years, extremely though, I don't know. In Korea. He has a little bit too much of that survivor bias, I think. But I mean, at this point, he just has so many charges that he's going to have to spend maybe more money in court defending himself than what he's made off of doing all this. Or, even worse, represent himself and face way harsher penalties. As, I mean, good luck representing yourself here in the U.S. when you have a little bit of a vague understanding of the law. In Korea, you're going to be completely lost. Right. Quick afterthought. Yeah, he's probably using a public defender. But either way, this dude is now flexing his emergency passport on TikTok because people were kind of memeing him saying, aha, the Korean government has your passport. And he's like, no, I have this emergency passport as well. Look at that. Dude, that thing's useless. You, you can't leave. What's the point of this? Right. So according to Cancel Johnny's on Twitter, this passport was given to him as an emergency so he could leave Israel when he was in danger last time, which is why I guess he would have two passports. And then on top of this, he's still posting the same disrespectful content of him in the subway, which we heard the investigator talk about briefly earlier. And then it's like, it's not that many inner, well, it's, it's, it's really only one major city in South Korea, I think, you know? South Korea not that big, so it's like, and then you stick out like a sore thumb because like you're you're black and you're in a, a Asian country, you know, and everybody in Korea pale as hell, like they are super super white, you know, so they gonna see you, they gonna identify you as soon as you go in there, cause it's probably only one airport that do like real life international flight so it's like yeah like regardless if you got a passport or not like they know you want to travel big thing this guy is doing is just making <laughs> yeah, things harder for himself in court and he's also going to yank his ass by the statue clips like. onto his rumble account while they're in korea still so again he's just trying to push the boundary he wants to see how much he can get away with so it's definitely going to be extremely interesting to see what the korean court system decides to do with him i don't know guys what do you think the odds are let me know in the comments down below what you think but other than that we just dropped boston and washington dc to matt city which is a company i started where we bring the nostalgic toy car mats and spot yeah that shit crazy bro like i ain't gonna lie that it's like a person that never got like a ass with me before i ain't talking about by no belt i'm talking about by like like a nigga just beating his ass like beating them bad you know like you know a lot of people don't even need to experience that to know like this shit just stupid you know but he's the type of person that just need to ask with me you know need somebody to beat his ass you know like that's all right, bro then he got somebody there condoning this shit like his ass a flat bro i ain't gonna lie i don't know i, I think this is gonna be my last reaction about him bro because he be pissing me off bro i'll be ready to do something to him i got damn so man i don't even know him but yeah, y'all like, comment, subscribe, fuck with everything in the description, man. We gone, man. Gang. Gang.